Hi guys, this is Conspiracy from SurrealPSD.com and in this video it's just going to be an overview of black and white. So in Photoshop there's a number of ways to achieve a black and white effect and the point of this video is to just let you know that you have more than one option. So I've got some examples here just to give you an overview of the different styles of black and white you can get. So this is a small section taken from a recent piece that I've done, um, junk and dead plants and things, uh, for a dystopian post-apocalyptic piece. Now here is uh, the original uh, with its uh, colours in place, and we're just going to go through one by one uh, each of the different black and white options that you have, because they, they can uh, vary very differently. So this one here is desaturate. So it's just a case of go in image adjustments desaturate and I'm going to give you a quick example of that so we have the original here and the way to go through that process is image adjustments desaturate and that's the most basic method that you can use uh, for achieving black and white that one works okay but you'll notice a variation as we go through these of the midtones the darks and the lights so depending on what kind of effect you want you have loads of different options. Number three here is the black and white adjustment layer. And I'm just gonna dip through here to show you. We have the kind of the image there, and then we have a layer mask and a black and white adjustment layer. And at the moment it's on neutral de density. So I'm just gonna give you a, a few examples of that. We're gonna bounce to the original here that we're gonna work with. Now if you're not using adjustment layers at this point, you really need to get on top of that because adjustment layers, there's nothing quite like them. It's non-destructive editing and you're given lots of options. So I'm just going to pull this dialog up so you can see the adjustment layer. So original, I've created a selection, command and click. So there's a, a selection around that. And then we're going to go on the adjustment layer and we're going to go for black and white. And here you have loads of different options. You have blue filter and darker and green filter. And you can go through all of them different black and white options and you have loads of different approaches. So many people would just think, oh, black and white is just black and white. But as you can see from this dialogue alone, you have loads of different options. The reason I chose neutral density uh, for the example is because it's very different to the other black and white options we looked at for the uh, different versions that we've got. So that's how you apply a adjustment layer to just one element. Command on the layer icon and click and then add the adjustment layer and that will go on there with a mask in place. So let's just hide these guys and we'll go through to the next one. Okay, down here, hue and saturation adjustment layer. This is basically another adjustment layer done in the same manner but what we've done is we've pulled the hue down uh, to zero. And that's very, very similar to desaturate what we've got there. And we can tell by looking at the midtones and the darks and the lights. But there is very subtle variations again. So again, we've got the test one here. Command and click. Go on to this one here. Hue and saturation. And then pulling that saturation down to zero is how we achieve that black and white. So get rid of that, hide that. For number four, we have color layer mode. So this one's slightly different to the adjustment layers on the versions here. We'll just go down there. We'll have a look at um, four color misnumbered. We'll go that one there. And it's basically a new square above set to black and then that layer's set to color. So. Again, for the example, we're going to go through that. So we have this one here. And what we want to do is create a black square directly above that. So I'm going to go Command and click on the layer icon. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to set the foreground color to black. I hit X there to switch it. And Alt and Delete will fill. And then Command and D will deselect. Now we see we've got that black square there. If you set that black square to color, it will make it black and white. So another option, and still there's variations. There's ve 
it, it varies the, the tonal range of the black and white. So you'll see these, these black regions here are slightly different to the black regions here and very different to the neutral one. So there's lots of different options there. For this one, this one is my personal favorite. I've saved it till last. And it's a very, very kind of stark in your face black and white style. The whites are super white and the blacks are super black. And the mid tones are, are quite dark in tone as well. And if we look at these junk elements here, we can see the, these, this scrap iron is a lot darker in tone and the whites are a lot whiter in tone as well. And especially in comparison to this neutral density one, there's, there's a lot of difference. And for me personally, the gradient map adjustment layer is my absolute favorite. So I'm just going to break that down for you now and show you how that's done. So we have the, uh, the square here. I'll just delete that one that we used before. The same process once again. Command and click that so it's selected. We're going to go adjustments and we're going to go gradient map. And for this, you just want the, if that's not showing, you can click on that gradient and select the gradient that you want. And what you need is the black to white gradient map. Hit OK. And you can tweak these values as well. If you wanted to add uh, a colored timber to that, I'll just show you. So we're going to click on the black there and we're going to add, a, let's say, a, a little bit of warmth to it. So it, you can be very subtle. So you can actually add um, kind of sepia tone to that very easily just by tweaking the color value of the black. So we'll hit OK. You can see that that's a very, very rich kind of sepia effect. But for pure black and white, you go the black to white gradient, hit OK and that works perfectly so a couple of options there just letting you know that um, black and white you're not limited to one and there's all different types of looks you have the black and white adjustment layer there the standard ones such as desaturate and color and hue saturation but for a serious kind of um, noir pop the gradient map adjustment layer works brilliant so there's some ideas for you to experiment with there's more than one way to skin a cat in Photoshop as you all know. So good luck with your projects and I'll see you guys at the next lesson. See you there.